now to a music legend who's still causing controversy 40 years after hitting the charts for the first time. Today, the story of a star making major headlines, not for his songs, but of all things, whipped cream and other delights. It's not your typical bikini, but it's also not your typical photo shoot. I guess uh, not everyone's willing to do that, but it, we do it in good taste. Yeah, that's it. It's the recreation of the legendary album cover of Herb Albert's Whipped Cream and Other Delights. Released 40 years ago, the creamy photo was controversial. When this album came out in 1965, Peter Wharf was the one, he was the art director at the time, and he showed me that picture. I was in the recording studio at the time and he showed me this picture and I, mm. I looked at it and I said, oh man, we're all going to get arrested for this. <laughs> <laughs> the original cover, tame by today's standards and the woman picked for the re-whipped version, guest model Brie Condon. So when this comes out, you will be the new whipped cream woman. Yep, so cool. Oh, you're very cool. Very. Yeah. Do you kind of feel like you're filling some pretty big shoes? Not totally. I'm excited to be, yeah, the next one. Not better, but hopefully just completely different and exciting. And listen up, guys. If this looks like a fun job, it is an actual profession known as a food stylist. So what are some secrets from this shoot you can tell me about? Well, one thing you wouldn't know is it wasn't actually all whipped cream. Most of it was just men's, like, shaving cream. Really? Yeah, so, like, the, I mean, what I was eating was obviously yeah. whipped cream. Yeah. But it would get, like, sometimes all over my hand, and I didn't, don't know what to lick because, I don't know, if it's shaving cream, whipped cream. Well, here's some other inside info about Herb. He co-wrote the Sam Cooke classic, Wonderful Life. We're glad he did. <laughs>